Hello and welcome to Business Reporters Automation and Robotics Campaign. I'm Alistair Greener and today I'm talking to Chris Fitzgerald from NTT Data Services. Good morning. Good morning. What's so different about today's technical world from comparing it to the past? I think there's probably a couple things. We as a society have gotten very used to now, instant on, uh, personalized messaging, very quick responses, and business therefore needs to drive at a very different pace. We use the phrase a self-driving business. And because of that, things like automation, robotics, become not just an option, they are instrumental in that change. And tell us a little bit more about your role as CTO. What's involved in that? Well, it's really geared around taking innovation and R&D to our customers. So it's not research, it's more of helping our customers to drive their digital agenda. So for example, it's helping a customer who's saying, how do I engage my customers in a different way? which might be then using things like conversational agents or using artificial intelligence to drive a next best action. So bringing those solutions in partnership with our customers. You talked about artificial intelligence AI. Let's start off with the definitions here. How would you define AI? For that matter, how would you define automation? So I think of it this way as, as AI is the brain. So a combination of learning, machine learning, deep learning, the pieces that take the data and the information and say, what do I understand about it? And then taking that to an actor, and one of those actors can be humans, but could also be automation. So it could be a robotic process or it could be a conversational agent, something that you think you're talking to, not just something in the background. So brain and action. We talked earlier on about the, um, the different world in which we live in when it comes to technology. As a result of that, what kind of challenges are organizations facing at the moment? Well, you heard back at this point of, I need to go faster, but how do I do that? How do I get my team and people to move at a faster rate? How do I engage my customers in a different experience? And let me give you an example, if I may. We have a customer who's a large bottler. Uh, in Latin America. And their challenge was, is how do I engage my 100,000 plus customers in an order process that was easier for them? So taking a conversational agent, it was more about the conversation, the here are the sales, the specials, and also offering it 24 hours a day, not just eight hours. So they were able to engage in their customers in better customer service, which was in fact changing the game because their customers were no longer working eight hours a day. And it's quite interesting when we look at the change in the world in which we live at the moment. We've talked about automation and AI, and we've been talking about it for a while, but why is it so important right now that we engage with it? I think part of what's the difference is the technology is growing and changing ever faster. Because the technology for years, we've talked about speech to text for years, but it didn't understand the language well enough where you'd say something and they'd repeat back to you go like, where did that come from? And that changed in January of this year. So that's how new that changes, where in fact, they used to use the phrase of humans understand about 85% of what other humans says. Machines were at about 70. Machines are now at 87. So now they can actually understand, which means the response back can be more accurate. And that is a tremendous shift and why this is now going to speed up even more. Both uh, Microsoft and Alibaba have machines now that understand humans as well as humans. So the rate of change is now happening to make it possible. It's also coming far lower in cost. So average businesses cannot take advantage of these AI automation tools that in fact years back were only the purview of the very large organization. So the power is now there to drive that customer experience. And as a result of this power, as a result of this new ability, how are organizations having to change their business practices, their, the models of the way they work? It's a great question because I think of it in, in two halves. That business model means, in fact, how I engage with my customers may have changed. What is my relationship? What's my part of it? And the model may be is how do I have that that piece to it. So a large pharmaceutical has an issue of how do I make sure my drugs are not having issues out in the public marketplace? How do they look at the social boards? Beforehand, they couldn't really understand that. Now with, in effect, automation, they can scan that, respond back, and be much more attuned to their customers in a real-time manner 
change the business model. The other side of the impact is the impact on people. Okay, how do I make sure that my people are being reskilled, retained, and driving for a different outcome? Because automation doesn't work if your teams can't evolve to that new model. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that because, you know, people always think about employees and workers when it comes to automation and AI. So what's the impact on them? Well, if you start by thinking of what's my real business outcome, what am I trying for? Okay, am I trying just for cost? Or is it really more about quality and consistency? Or is it about customer experience? And then engage the team. So I interviewed one of our teams in India recently who had literally automated themselves out of work. And I said, how did it feel? And they went, great! And I said, oh, no, 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 really? And they said, yeah. I said, why? Well, first, they get to move to more interesting work. They move from basically heads down, monotonous work to more work that use their creative talent. Number two, we paid them for part of the automation salary. So they get paid for the work they used to do and the new work. And one of the guys said, you know, if I do about 10 more of these, I can basically not work and get paid. So we thought of the person impact in designing the solution, which changed the whole conversation. Now that's one area where you can get automation right. What are the other key drivers that organizations need to look to get automation right? Big one, data. Okay, what, am I, what do I have to feed this engine to understand? What do I have to know about you, your preferences? And it's not always just your data, it includes data from the outside. Number two, this is not a technology tools discussion. Okay, and if someone starts with that piece, they tend to fail. It's more of an ecosystem and solutions to it, okay? We mentioned the people side. Other part is this is end to end. Your business is being changed. Don't think of automation a person. This is kind of an all experience. You may automate part, you may augment part, you may not automate part. Think of that total piece. If you don't put all those together, you're not successful. We live in a very fast changing world and we know that AI and automation are going to be very much a part of that. So it's been really interesting to find out how to make it a success for organizations. Great finding out more. Chris Fitzgerald from NTT Data Services. Thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you.